Hi, my name is Rod Beaver. I'm an integration specialist as customer service manager here at Ideal. Um, been doing this job for a little over 13 years now, and today we're going to discuss how to level a table, and part of leveling the table is understanding that we're not actually leveling the table. We're aligning the axis with gravity. Here at Ideal and a lot of our customers, we are very fortunate to have a encased pier, isolation pier. In this case, this pier is two inches of stainless steel on top of two feet of concrete on top of pilings. So what that does is isolates us from the external surrounding areas and gives me the ability to do things in the sub arc second range. If you're not fortunate enough to have a pier like this, you do have to take into account that one very educated engineer used to always tell me that the world's made of rubber. You wouldn't believe how much concrete can flex just by the weight of your system, by the weight of you and what's happening around. Um, so here we're very fortunate because I have a very stable system and the numbers that we are gonna get will be very stable. You have to take into account if you're not in a pristine environment that you still have to try to get as close to the number as you can, but you have to take into account your environment. First of all, to describe what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna use what Ideal Aerosmith uses as a Weiler Mini Level NT, but there are also many other various options with a stare at bubble level or precision, precision filled levels. Um, we prefer the high-end digital, and that gives us actual numeric numbers and not opinions. With this, we get the same result, but it has the possibility of being interpreted based on who's actually running the test. So step one on this system is to configure the base and the assembly. As delivered with a two-axis system like this, Ideal Aerosmith delivers five leveling feet. We preliminary set the table up on four leveling feet, but in reality, these leveling feet are not engaged. We're sitting on a single point leveling piece here to give us a tripod effect. With a tripod effect, it's much easier to level the system. The initial setup, I always want this end to be low because as we want to bring this system up, we always want to use the leveling feet and move the table up into position. So right now, the table's configured where this end of the system is high. We're relatively high, I would say within 20 to 50 arc seconds. Um, a mark or two marks on the gradients of a, of a bubble level, and I would say 50 with an actual Weiler mini level. Once we got that configured, attach your level to the tabletop, and we'll just for reference, we'll also put the bubble level up here. And what we're gonna wanna do is rotate the system from this direction to 180 degrees. What we're trying to do, and which leveling is actually kind of a misnomer, we're not actually leveling this surface, we're aligning the axis of rotation with Earth's gravity. That gives you a true rotation within Earth's gravity. That also, with a two-axis system, gives you exact perpendicularity with the horizontal axis. So we're not physically leveling the tabletop because the tabletop also has the ability of having error. Um, we call it a coning angle. It can be convex or concave, but when the unit of measure is arc seconds, it shows up. So it's not like leveling a board on your deck. We're actually doing, we're aligning the axis of rotation with the gravitational pull of the Earth. So note your number here. And right now, I'm very lucky I'm sitting right at zero, which very seldom happens, but it does every once in a while. I will rotate the axis exactly 180 degrees and take your second number. In this case, my second number is 50. So the method of getting a perfect axis uh, orientation is to always split the difference. So our target number is 0, 50, so my goal is 25. 
And that's the goal that we have to do on every point now, is now I will go back to my original position. Now that we're back at zero, and I want to be at a positive 25. So with the Weiler Mini level, positive is the side of the buttons or on this direction. So what I want to do is raise this leveling foot up until that reads 25. So now we're at 20. And now we're at 30, so our goal is still 25. So by going up a very little bit, I am now at 23. And now we're at 25. Twenty five point eight and twenty five point two. I believe that's well within the, any of the wobble specs or with anything. You can never get perfect, but we always try to get as close as we can. So now that we have this direction level, we now want to go to this direction. The nice thing about it is with with the known number now, we know the target. So now we're going to go. to this direction. And now, that as we moved this back and forth and we lifted this up, now we'll have to bring this side up and as we bring it up, our goal is to hit 25 arc seconds. So again, remember, the outside leveling feet here are actually not in play. There's a third or a fifth leveling foot in the middle. So as we bring this side up, again, our goal is 25. Our goal will always be 25 now. 24.6. and 25.4 that's again well within our well within what we would want the table to be so now that we have the system leveled now we want to bring the supporting brackets or the supporting feet for the actual table itself remember our number is still 25 so now i'm pointing the level directly at the leveling foot So now that we're gonna bring this system up, now we're gonna engage the leveling foot here. And as we start to engage our leveling foot, we bring the system up, and my level now reads 42. So I'm actually, I raised the system up and it tilted the entire table. So now we're going to start loading the system down. So now we're going to bring in and actually start torquing the system into play. I'm now down to 12. So now we want to bring the system back up. And as we do, we're applying the torque to the actual bolts. So again, now I'm at 30. 
And then the final preparation will be to lock this system in place. And now I'm back at 24.8. I'm going to, I'll be behind the system. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I'm now at 10. plus 20, and we'll final torque the system. We're at plus 24.8, that's more than well enough. I will repeat the process on the first two. plus 37 plus 24.7 well within well within specifications plus 5 plus 35 plus 24.8 two tenths of an arc second off the system now is considered to be leveled. So the final test literally is just to hit your cardinal points. Um, we can go around Twenty four point eight. And 25.6. The table and the axis orientation are now well within where plus or minus one arc second of being level. And the system is mounted, torqued down to the pair. Um, a lot of customers always ask about a torque rating or a torque spec for the mounting feet. It's a give and take world. Um, if you want a torque spec for the leveling foot, you're gonna have to sacrifice having the system level to with an arc second because if we try to get a single torque spec on each system on a plate that is pushing up and a bolt that's pushing down, the torque spec changes depending on making it level. So in this case, the system is level and the key points are always, you try to get the exact same number and you don't ever want to touch the equipment once it's on the table. Because every time you affect or touch this setup, while you're doing the test, you're changing your outcome. So you want to leave the system as is, rotate the table, always find the happy between the high and the low, make the center equal in all locations. Once that's done, the table's level.